there! I'm Ken, this is CRT. Welcome to the Coco Talk Game On Challenge of the Week for the week of January the 21st, 2021. This week we are playing Cron. Now, I'm not going to say that this game is a direct ripoff of Tron. It is, but I'm going to call it an homage to the game Tron. Just like in the game Tron, you play four mini games. All which are related to the movie. And obviously in this one, uh, the idea is to shoot your way through all of these blocks and get up to the top. And I did not do it that time. Now, if you want to get greedy and shoot all of the blocks, you do get a bonus, but sometimes it's best just to make the hole in the blocks and get yourself through while you can. And you got to be careful not to touch the sides because that will kill you. There we go. That is how you beat that level. And then there's the tank level. This looks a lot like the tanks from Combat on the Atari 2600. And here we have the grid spiders. They multiply. You have to Now you do not have to kill them all. I just like to get the points for it. And then walk through and get to the center, but do not touch the sides because that will kill you. And then there is the light cycle game. Ooh, killed him easy. Okay, and now we're on to level two where everything is just harder. So obviously there is more, there's an extra level of blocks here to shoot through. be the first time I've ever beat that one. Now on the tank level, you've just got more tanks to fight. Oh, darn. And on the light cycle bikes, you have three now rather than one. Oh. Well, that wasn't bad. One of my better games, actually. Now, interestingly enough, when I was a kid, this was not a game that I enjoyed. I was actually no good at the arcade version of this, even though the arcade version was very popular. I was no good at it, so I didn't play it a lot. So even if I had known about this game as a kid, which I didn't, I'm not sure if I would have played it very much. spiders. But I do have to say I'm actually enjoying it a lot now. Ha 
one of those games that's just fun to pick up and play. You don't have to spend a lot of time playing it. And by the way, I am playing it on my Coco 3. I'm playing it on my Coco 3 using a Black Beauty joystick. One of the really nice things about this is having the four different uh, mini games to play is that it doesn't get repetitive. Now here we didn't look at the uh, grid spiders the last last time. See they multiply twice so you get twice as many on the screen. And when you have twice as many on the screen it actually, the computer does lag a little bit, but so far, that's the only complaint I have with this game. that one again. Let's take out some tanks. But it's always really nice that uh, with the uh, Coco Talk game on Challenge of the Week, I'm discovering all of these games I did not ever play when I was a kid. I guess that's the whole idea of it though. Having fun discovering games. Ah. Oh, still got one more guy. Let's take out some more grid bugs. There we go. That was two quick games of this. So, um, yeah, if you were a fan of this game originally in the arcade, I think you will really like this game. And if you weren't a fan of the uh, arcade game, I would suggest actually trying it out. It's uh, quite a lot of fun. But... That is uh, the video for this week, so I hope you enjoyed watching me play this old Coco computer game. And if you did, you know what you can do with the liking, subscribing, and commenting below, because everything and anything you do is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't checked out my other um, Game On Challenge videos, uh, there will be a link up in the top of the screen at some point during this uh, video. They are a lot of good games for the Coco computer worth checking out. But I am going to continue playing this to try to get a higher score. So I will see you next time.